find the circumference of a circle that has a radius of 12 inches. So if I were to draw the circle right over here, the radius, so that's the center of the circle, the radius here is 12 inches. We need to figure out how, what's the distance to go around the circle, the distance of the, if, if I were to make a string here, and to go actually around just like this. So the first thing to realize is that there's a very special number called pi that we use when we deal with circles. And pi is actually defined as the ratio between the circumference and the diameter of a circle. This is one of the ways that one can define pi. And pi is denoted by the Greek letter pi. And this is, and we can keep adding digits to it, but it's 3.14159. And some people make sport out of trying to memorize as many digits of pi as possible. But it's one of those weird, wacky numbers that show up throughout nature. And it just keeps on repeating for, actually, it keeps on going on forever, but it does not repeat, which is crazy. I mean, maybe, you know, the, why, why wasn't the ratio of the circumference of the diameter of circles three? It's just this, this you know, instead it's this kind of wacky, wacky. Wacky, wacky number. But with that out of the way, through this definition of what pi is, we actually get a formula for if you know pi, and if you know one of these two things, you can get the other one. So if you know the diameter and you want to come out with the circumference, you multiply both sides of this, really this definition of pi, you multiply both sides by d, and you get c is equal to pi times d. Or another way to think about it, because the diameter of a circle is two radii, the length of a diameter is two times the length of the radius, you can replace your diameter with two times the radius. And so that gives you, and this is kind of a famous formula, c is equal to, or circumference is equal to 2 pi, 2 pi r. Or here it's pi times 2 times r. You switch them around, you get 2 pi r. And we just apply that. Our radius is 12 inches. So this is going to be 12. We need to calculate the circumference. Our circumference is going to be 2 times pi times 12. That is 24 times pi. If we want the exact number, remember pi is an actual number. It's 3.14159. keeps on going on and on and on forever. Let's actually get our calculator out. So we can multiply. We can multiply 24. And then we have to find pi here. Pi is right in yellow there. So I press second and that right over there, 24 pi, which literally just means 24 times the number pi, which is 24 times 3.14159, on and on and on. And we get 75.398. So depending, they haven't told us exactly, exactly how much precision they want over here. But if we round to the nearest, Actually, even if we round to the hundreds place, we get 75.40. So I'll go with that. So this is equal to approximately equal to 75.40. And we're done.